Statistically, you are viewing this on a phone, but have you ever wondered how your touchscreen actually works? Your screen uses something called capacitive coupling to detect if somebody's touching it. Your screen has two transparent conductive plates. One gets positively charged, one gets negatively charged, and they're separated by a layer of glass. This creates a magnetic field around it. If you move your finger close to these plates, you interact with this magnetic field, and you drop the voltage on the plates slightly. And your phone uses this slight voltage drop to know that something is pressing it, but how does it know where on the screen that it's being pressed. Well, your screen is actually made of different layers. On the bottom, we have the LED screen that actually creates the image that you're looking at. Then we have a few layers of glass, but here we have two layers with a whole bunch of those capacity pads. And pay close attention because they are connected in strings. These ones run side to side, and these ones run top to bottom. If we were to look at this stack directly from above, those plates would line up, and this is what we would see. And if I put my finger here, we would interact with those magnetic fields and cause a voltage drop on this row, on this row, and our phone would know that our finger must be here. If I touched here, we would see a voltage drop on this row and this row instead. And that is how your touchscreen works. But instead of 16 plates, you have millions of plates and it's all transparent, which is really incredible if you think about it. And if you want to learn how to add a touchscreen to your next maker project, check out the link in bio.